Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you a free lens pack for Unreal Engine that you will love. One thing you need to know is it's based on only anamorphic cameras so so if you're looking for that this is the right video. So you can find the pack on Gumroad and the author is I don't know if I pronounced this right but Tide TKE. So I strongly suggest you that you download this and try it for yourself because it's a game changer and if you like it make sure to donate a bit to the author because he deserves it so in order for you to get this you need to set a price here now that starts from zero so i'm broke unfortunately but yeah after you set the price that you want to pay for this you, you click on add to cart and here you're gonna type the email address and uh, the product will uh, you'll receive the product on your email actually it's a receipt on the email in here you'll find a product it's just gonna pop up right after that so then you click on download after it's downloaded you just open the folder and you can see it's a zip file so you need to extract those files here I'm just gonna I use 7-zip for this I'm just gonna click extract here and there it's done and if you click on this you're gonna see the assets and the only thing left to do is drag this into your content folder in Unreal in your project and from what I heard this works great with Unreal 5.2 but you can try it with other versions as well okay so I've opened up Unreal and you can see that the folder is right here with all the available lenses but in order for this to work we need to enable one plugin and I'm just gonna open the from the edit tab the plugins and search for camera calibration check this box yes and then you're gonna restart your engine okay so I restarted my engine and now the first thing you want to do is click on this plus button cinematic and create the cine camera actor so now we need to set the settings to match a real-life anamorphic camera so I'm gonna use my settings from the other videos so for the width I'm gonna choose 21 by 9.95 and for the height 18.6 millimeter then you wanna set the squeeze factor to 2. Okay, so now we have an anamorphic camera by default in Unreal. So in order for us to use that lens pack, we need to uh, click on this add button and search for lens. And here you're gonna see the lens component. Click on it. And then here in the lens file, you wanna go to the content browser and choose whichever one of these you want so I'm gonna go for the 75 millimeter first one and then in the evaluation mode you need to set this to use camera settings and then also click on this button for apply distortion now look you can see that the ground is bending so let me just go to the camera actor and move a bit around and of course you can go back to your camera settings and um, adjust the blade count and um, the aperture now let's do a quick test so this is future editing me I forgot to press record on this last part so now I have to record it again that's great but let's get back to the video so what I did was I jumped into this automotive winter scene that I did on my last video if you want to check that out make sure to hit this button in the corner and I just applied a lens to the camera and I used this time a different one it was from the Panavision these are more the effect is more pronounced so as you can see on the edges the bending is much more apparent you can see even when I move the camera and that is great 
and it's looking awesome. How can you compare this to what it was before? You can't. And the good thing is that it also works with path chasing. See? It just... The problem I see is it takes out the bar, the progress display bar. But it's fine, I don't mind it. But at the end it's... It is gonna use the denoiser. At first I thought it wasn't, but it is. So definitely using this to death. And you should too, because look at this. It's much more realistic. So that was it for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you want to check out the author's YouTube channel, I'm going to link it down below in the description. And go check it out and give a sub to him to support him. But before, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like to me as well. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Goodbye.